My name is Ryan Redman, and I have the extraordinary privilege and honor to continue to serve as the executive director of the Flourish Foundation. Elevation, I think, is one of the coolest, enjoyable emotions. It's the natural capacity we have as human beings to really feel a deep sense of appreciation and goodness when we see other people enacting virtues in the world, when we see other people caring for other people, and when we see anything that inspires us to, to be better. And one of the things about our work at Flourish is we often don't get a chance to hear about how the cultivation of human values, how working with the mind through meditation, how being engaged in service projects, both locally and abroad, we don't often hear how this impacts the people we serve. A while ago when I was over in Shoshone, I was like, I used to be pretty rude, and I used to get mad a lot. And it's just mindful awareness helped me like control my anger and stuff. It helps me be like more kind. Mindful awareness makes me think of other others. When people do come to us and they reflect, this is how it's changing my life. These tools and these skills are starting to impact my relationship with myself and others in these positive ways. I remember I was in a fight with my brother the night before and it was horrible and I just went to mindful awareness and it just all went away. I remember whenever I start crying, I take deep breaths. Whenever I get like super mad at my sister, I remember is, is this kind? Is it necessary? And it's also the goodness that comes when we see people caring for themselves. I find, I know for myself on a very personal level, Elevation has served a tremendous role in my own life, especially in those moments where I feel completely overwhelmed and I feel incapable of rising up to the many challenges in the world. Mindful awareness is like calming and it helps people stay calm in the hardest times of their life. At home, because I get like sometimes my siblings never listen to me and I get like really mad but I don't want to yell at them because then I'll feel bad. So I like, I do the breathing techniques and I calm myself down and I do, like it really teaches me to be kind. If you get mad a lot, it could help you calm down and it's like fun, it's like a fun activity you could do. I really do think that my mom could use this a lot because she has been through a lot and a lot of stress with her. So I really want her to start to learn this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I've done breathing and I've gone to my peaceful place a lot. Well, I was frustrated and then I took some breaths and it helped me calm down. You relax and you go to a place in your mind. So I've learned that I have an inner, I have an inner calmness that I didn't really know that I had before. It really gives you community and lets you trust other people. It can give other people a little more trust. Coming into our school year, we were given the opportunity again to come back into the classrooms on a more full-time basis. So in addition to expanding our educational programs, we also had an incredible opportunity to expand our programming for compassionate leaders both in South Africa, and then also we expanded some programming in Kauai. I also seem to keep surprising myself each day with how capable and strong my body is and how that can really take me anywhere. I feel like I'm part of something bigger than just myself. You know, I feel like 
I'm not really an individual. I feel like I've really connected with not only this group, but also the place that we're at. Um, I think I've learned mostly acceptance of myself, the people around me, um, letting go and opening up, and then along with that, courage. Um, the students really taught me a lot of how to kind of move through life and being strong and having a lot of courage. We just name our garden, Ikula Gakse. It's growing up, beautiful. It's sort of like a, a person, like an example for the garden. It's growing up well, and we are growing up well. So we call our garden Sikula Gakuse, meaning that we're growing up beautifully. As I look back, being an adult, recognizing how these little turns and these little shifts and these little moments of transformation can actually change the course of an entire life, of many lives. And so there's nothing more heartening to look at those generations that are coming and they're going to be the ones that are going to be running nonprofit organizations. They're going to be the ones that are going to be active and involved in their communities. To see these individuals committed at such a young age to benefiting the world, I don't think it gets better than that. My name's Yamalette and I am eight years old. I am Carson and I am eight years old. Get my age is 10. Seven. I am 10 years old. I'm an eighth grader. 11 years old. And I'm eight years old. I'm 11 and three quarters. I'm in first grade. I'm 13 years old. And I'm in seventh grade. I'm in sixth grade. I'm 10. I am in the seventh grade. Ridge, and I'm in first grade. I'm Theo, and I'm in first grade. I am in 8th grade. My name is Melanie and I'm in South Africa. In Makonda, South Africa. Why and why specifically? My full word is, is really calm, loving, and you just want to do it again and again. I loved everything. My name is Jasmine Santa Cruz and I'm in South Africa. Just teaching me what joy is and how to live a happy life. To know about me, that I'm a fun person who loves children, playing a lot, Children who will help us create a better tomorrow. Yeah. Um, interacting with people, be able to help them out, out so that they can have a, a brighter future. It's important because you get to help them. Then when you help them, it's going to bring joy, love, like my name. My name means happiness and joy. Twaita. That's what my name means. So people have to twaita. Yeah. So everybody, good night, God bless, happy eating! <laughs> happy Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday, huh? love you guys. It means like, when, whenever uh, you guys came, it, you, it actually is making us feel like excited and I'd be very happy, peaceful and just chill. Squeeze the breath. So it works by if you're like very angry and you wanted to do it very loud that like you just want to do it, you just um take a deep breath and remember those words, kind, necessary, and true.